Uh, Gary, thanks for your um, response. Uh, two issues, I guess, that I'd like to raise. I don't think that it's possible to actually measure somebody else's uh, productivity, the productivity of their life. Um, we can sort of see how they interact with other people, and that's fine. Um, we can have a general gist of whether or not they are an asset or a liability to the larger society, but we're, at the end of the day, we don't know, again, the butterfly effect, as you say. Um, if, uh, you know, the, the butterfly effect kind of makes fools out of all of our attempts to do good or, or <laughs> do bad in the world, I guess, uh, because whether we like it or not, the butterfly effect goes both ways. Uh, the butterfly effect can, uh, you know, a, a minor bad thing can result in something enormously good along the way. We're just used to reading Isaac Asimov and uh, uh, seeing um, terrible things resulting from the butterfly effect, but it, it doesn't actually, uh, it sh when you think about it, it doesn't always result in something bad. Um, that was actually my second point, so I sort of leaped ahead here. But the first one is, um, we don't really know... Uh, we, we don't, we're not sure what productivity is. Given the limitations of human life, i.e. mortality, and given the limitations of the human species, i.e. Uh, the inevitability of our extinction, um, <laughs> it's kind of hard to fit productivity into that, isn't, isn't it? Like, when you, <laughs> you've got an assembly line that eventually goes off a cliff, uh, <laughs> what exactly, like, how do you put quality into the product that's sitting there on the assembly line in front of you if you're one of the workers? Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of hard to do that, or it's 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 an interesting question. One could even say that that's a Zen koan, and it sort of um, it sort of places us in the dilemma of attempting or of wanting to do good and finding it more or less impossible to do so, or not so much impossible. I allow me to rephrase, but it's enigmatic. Uh, it's it's an enormous enigma. Uh, uh, I want to do good, and it's impossible to do good. Again, that's the... I've seen that kind of guilt trap played out on people um, throughout my existence, uh, and, um, and again, by people who might have sincerely thought that they were doing good. Um, <clears throat> Where you know, okay, you are you are responsible for what you do. You're responsible to leave this place a better place than uh, it was before you arrived, um, and uh, just go out and do it. There's no rule book. <laughs> There's no rule book to follow. Uh, you just go out there and be a good person, or else. And okay, I want to do good. How do I do good? Butterfly effect. I'm screwed. Oh dear God! Shrivel up into a fetal ball, and I'm in a perfect state to be controlled by other people. I'm not saying that you're doing that on purpose, but I'm saying that's the, the end result of too much guilt. Um, so I have to say, how do you know if somebody is being productive or not, when given the fact that everything is finite? And, um, and uh, secondly, um, the, uh, as I say, the butterfly effect works both ways. It, can you be productive without even meaning to? <laughs> interesting, uh, interesting question, I think, and I'm not the originator of that, obviously. Uh, but again, you know, everything that you do might be significant, and it might be significant for the good or for the bad, and once you've done it umpteen thousand steps uh, before its ultimate culmination, you have no idea what the effect is going to be. I snap my fingers now. I may, from you know the results of what I just did, um, launch a nuclear Armageddon a hundred years from now. I don't know. <laughs> I may also have cured uh, every conceivable disease that... Uh, humanity has ever suffered from and made us all immortal and banished uh, uh, hunger, insanity, and uh, mortality from human existence by snapping my fingers. I don't know. That's the butterfly effect. Um, and again, how do you face that? Do you freeze up? Or do you just say, well, I did my best, and that's enough? Uh, or even that's not really enough, but that's all that the world, or any sort of standard can reasonably expect from us. Again, that's why I say that guilt is okay, but it's got to be limited. Um, it's got to be a, a reasonable expectation placed on the person whom you are guilting. In so many ways, that's not the case. <laughs>